Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. So a quick little update. I just um, felt the need to share this because one of the things that the guides gave, and for those of you that remember uh, clearly and been with us since December 2022, when Cindy got that weird vision where somebody wrote down 1.5 years in script um, and showing Cindy a picture of volcanoes going off and what looked to be warfare, combat, in the U.S., uh, and 1.5 years from, again, December 2022 is, is basically, you're looking at June of this year. Uh, so we, we always have volcanoes going off on the planet, but it, it feels like there's an uptick going on. And, and just look at this. It's spectacular, is it not? Tsunami warning, highest alert sounded. This We were talking about Mount Ruang. This strato uh, volcano, it's erupted multiple times. There's new alerts. Look at this spectacular photography. It's just incredible, the, the colors and nature. It's, it's beautiful. And the electrical nature. Ultimately, when we look at lightning, what is it? Well, it, it's, it's life force, but it's intensified. It's it's powerful, creative, destructive at the same time, absolutely could be. And here we are, we are seeing some wild eruptions and evacuations as this has erupted five times and forcing authorities to close a nearby airport, issue a warning about falling debris that could cause a tsunami. So, you know, again, you, if you're in this type of an area, you always got to be aware. Yeah, I mean, definitely looks like something very, very curious. You know, we've had some interesting things uh, kind of fly into volcanoes lately. So, I don't know. And, and, you know, I wouldn't keep bringing up that vision I had had it not been for the writing. The writing was, it was in black ink. It was in cursive. It was so strange and it was so clear. So, the only thing I can think of that the reason they showed me something like that is to share. And my hope is is maybe there's a reason for everything. Maybe there's a way we can change timeline. Maybe some of those prayer warriors out there are doing their job because of this so that they can curve something or make something less horrible. Let's um, maybe <laughs> think of it that way. If the world worked together in a constructive way, which really is not the prerogative, the desired effect of the control system because it thrives on chaos, we could know these things just like animals you know look to the animals around you especially in these times especially if you're in say the pacific northwest or around uh, the san andreas fault or around the new madrid or in many other places where you have this type of acti activity watch the animals watch your pets if they start acting strange i mean we're, we're always taking note of what the pups are telling us so, you know, this is giving us ash up to 55,000 feet. I do think we're going to see um, a lot of volcanic activity, perhaps unprecedented volcanic activity. That's going to lead to cooling us off, going to lead to uh, a lot more flooding. That's another bypro byproduct of it. And, of course, at the same time, what do we have going on? We have man-made uh, geoengineering that they've admitted to that's that's again putting clouds up in the uh, atmosphere creating more water and more flooding and you know it's all building up on on top of itself you know this this particular mountain is in North Sulawesi and so again five eruptions but we're, we're also seeing increased activity in different places. And this is Awu Volcano. This is also in Indonesia, but it's a separate location. And, and it's, it's, it's not the same vol volcano that we're talking about with Ruang here. So this one looks uh, to be getting ready to go. And you have increased seismic activity and inflation detected. Now, this one last erupted in 2004. So again, you know, you could say, well, these are active ones. And in fact, when we look at the 
activity report, we see there's a lot that's going on. Now, this is new activity, Awu, that we were just talking about. Etna blowing its uh, smoke rings like Gandalf. Fernadina over in the Fernadina Galapagos Islands. Kavachi in the Solomon Islands. Kuchino, Kuchinoro Bujima in the Ryukyu Islands. Poas over in Costa Rica. Ruang, we were talking about Tal over in the Philippines. And then we have ongoing activity at a bunch of other ones. It's just amazing when you think about the process on the planet. And the planet is going to cleanse itself. Absolutely. But again, if we were in tune with it, and this is where that disconnect, and I, I just think about people that say, well, I have a father in heaven, but I don't have a mother. Then how are you? How are you, you? Your, your body comes from the mother. You know, it's just so blatantly obvious, but yet, unfortunately, so many people just don't have any sort of understanding because they've been blinded by the system. And that disconnect does a lot to create havoc in our lives when we are disconnected from the planet. It's like we are aliens here, which technically we, we are, because ultimately humans are, are, are not from here, but our bodies are from the same stuff. And we can be just as connected as, as the animals are. We can know when something is going to hit and explode. And many people do. Many people do. In fact, you know, again, when you look to the indigenous people, the little tribes in the Amazon, uh, the Australian aboriginals, and, and people still living quite simply in other places all around the globe, Africa, etc., they know, they can read the weather, they could feel, they could sense, but in the cities, in the concrete jungles, uh, most people have lost that ability, and it's just something that's not cultivated. So this is another one. This is 30 miles southwest of Iceland's capital, Reykjavik. Now, this one had not been active for 800 years until the recent eruptions. And I think we will see uh, VEI-7s, maybe even greater. And, and it's going to totally change everything. Meanwhile, we see more and more of the same old thing uh, claiming lives in Pakistan, Afghanistan, unprecedented rainfall. Yeah, and is it is it natural? How much weather manipulation? Uh, you know, again, there's so much manip manipulation going on at a time of increased natural activity. It's almost impossible. Look at this large electrical storm. Isn't this amazing? Uh, think about the creative activity, the interplay between heaven and earth. We are bioelectromagnetic creatures. Absolutely. It, this affects our consciousness. This affects our bodies. It affects everything. We are electric. So this is really fun for me to look at. It's fun for me to see. It's fun for me to, to channel the information that's in there. It is so striking. <laughs> no pun intended. Um, this is, you know, in some ways, this is our body. This is our synapsis. This is... A lot of what I see when I'm looking at someone, when I'm looking at their brain, when I'm looking at their body, I, I see this information all over them. Sometimes I see different symbols. Sometimes I see, you know, different different shapes. It's just, it's all over the place. I was working on Mike today. It was really, really fun. And after I got done working on him, I, I looked at his body and his skeletal structure stuck out like a sore thumb. It's like his bones and everything were activated. Everything was activated. So I thought that was really, really interesting and, and unique. And uh, whenever I do that and I look at his energy body, there's always something a little bit different. So, I mean, it just goes to say this world is absolutely amazing. It's limitless. It's, it's something to really behold while we're here in the 3D. As hard as things can get sometimes, we're really, really lucky to be here right now. Absolutely. I mean, these are very exciting times. And while, yes, absolutely, the dark side of things is trying to distort and give us this feeling of helplessness and hopelessness, 
you know, the dark system itself is the only one really that's full of hopelessness and helplessness because you can't ultimately stop the light and you can't ultimately stop people from understanding, uh, you know, the, the wool that's been pulled over their eyes for so long. The big picture is becoming clearer and clearer for so many. It is. People are getting it. People are people are understanding, and it, it's not so easily um, veiled anymore because they're going to a whole new level with the technology that's out there, the alien technology, the technology that humans are not necessarily privy to. That technology, it, it's not acting right. It's not doing what it needs to do to continue to hold on to their veil, and that's because we've changed um, we, we've changed worlds. It's a different time now. It absolutely is. And, you know, take heart in that. Yes, you know, the crazy ones, eh, they're going to do their best to hang on to power. But ultimately, they're the ones that are losing control. And meanwhile, take care of yourself. This reminds me of myself earlier today, <laughs> thanks to Cindy. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, yeah, quite a bit. <laughs> you take care of each other be good to each other lift each other up whenever needed and and you know the world will go around that way source bless and namaste namaste